everyone, and welcome back to another embolism-inducing episode of this. Real quick, I just wanted to thank all my Patreon and Subscribestar subscribers. Thanks to all of you. I'm going to be upgrading all of my equipment and this studio very soon, hopefully here in the next two weeks. Thanks to all of you. Everything's going to be looking a lot better here very soon. So this story is hilarious and it really enforces my belief that the Trump campaign is really a lot craftier than anybody gives them credit for. And maybe you all remember all the way back, way, way back to 2019, when Biden hilariously told a screaming crowd of Democrats we choose truth over facts and so folks if you're interested join me I could use the help gaff or not pay close attention to the roaring display of agreement from the Democrat crowd let me tell you all something it gets incredibly stressful constantly dealing with these media lies and distortions I look at myself in the mirror every day and my skin tells the tale let me show you all one of the things that's helping me to look better and feel great in the year 2020 it's important to keep your body healthy all the time collagen may be the closest thing that we ever get to a real fountain of youth and many health experts now agree consuming collagen is as crucial as it gets to renewing and revitalizing how you look and feel. After all, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body and is essentially the glue that holds you together. In fact, after age 20, people produce about 12% less collagen in their skin each decade. For some, the decline is even greater. So visit my page at www.healthwithdronetech.com and secure your supply of the best collagen on the market. We choose truth over facts. And so folks, if you're interested, join me. I could use the help. Okay, now that you've seen that, fast forward all the way into the future, into the far distant future of 2020, where the Trump campaign has launched a mockumentary style website called Truth and Facts. At first glance, it's pretty obviously a satirical style site from the Trump campaign with Joe Biden's doofy, confused face plastered all over the front page. Not to mention the laughter inducing name of the website. One would think that the average person would see this for what it is. Is, or at the very least, our highly paid, highly trained fourth estate of democracy defending truth seekers would know that these words were spoken by Joe Biden and aren't some sort of Orwellian made up slogan by the Trump campaign. One would think, right? Wrong. After the launch of this website by the Trump campaign, the typical media suspects launched into outrage over the quote Orwellian move by Trump. Ezra Klein, for example, he's the founder and editor at large at Vox, a well-known left-wing propaganda outlet owned by NBC, who are known for lying and deceptive videos in service of the Democrat Party. You may have saw his interview on Ben Shapiro's Sunday show about a month ago. This guy. If you had written a satire of the Trump administration where they launched a campaign called Truth Over Facts, it would have been dismissed as heavy-handed and unfair. <laughs> I have to completely disagree with that, first of all. The media has been nothing but heavy-handed with Trump for the last four years. And that wouldn't have even rated on the scale next to the Russian collusion hoax. You people were straight up calling him a Russian agent for three years. Second, Biden actually said this. How does he not know this? He's a professional journalist who's only interested in the truth and is definitely not a partisan DNC hack. He doesn't know about it because, like I like to remind you daily, the media is only interested in advancing a Democrat Party agenda. Later, he must have realized that he was just exposed and attempted to make it look like Trump's the one in the wrong for, quote, weaponizing the gaffe. <laughs> what? It's amazingly audacious for the Trump campaign to use Joe Biden's own words against him? Really? Yeah, because the Democrats and the media never weaponized Trump's words against him, even going as far as to outright lie and deceptively edit video to do it. I just love how it's somehow out of bounds to use Democrats' own words against them. It reminds me of when Trump played that video of the media downplaying the coronavirus from January up until March, and then the media calling that a conspiracy theory because he used their own words against them. Think about how completely insane this is becoming. The only legitimate election is one won by Democrats. The only legitimate scandal is one involving the Republican Party. And apparently now the only legitimate attacks against a politician are those done against the Republican Party. The hilarity continued on Twitter with other DNC operatives who pretend to be journalists lining up to express their outrage. Molly Jong Fast, editor-at-large for the Daily Beast, another left-wing rag, tweeted out, quote, how very Orwell 
Orwellian. The problem here, of course, is that she just proved that she's the one that's Orwellian, not Trump. I mean, how could she not know that Biden said this? Because these people aren't interested in Biden gas, only covering them up by not covering them. You see, if they didn't report it, it never happened. It's all part of their alternate reality myth-making. The responses to her tweet are similarly lacking any semblance of self-awareness, unknowingly tweeting out attacks that should have been done in a mirror. Again, the Trump campaign is not very creative, recycling old scandals, accusing Dems of doing everything that Trump has actually been doing, and now just copying 1984, rewriting history accounts as Donnie bungles dates and facts up. And then I respond, Biden says truth over facts, and this is your response. Truth over facts, gah, more proof he's removed from reality, or just plain wacko for pretending to be removed from reality. But it is more proof he's unfit to be president and we need the 25th Amendment now. We choose truth over facts. And so folks, if you're interested, join me. I could use the help. Or how about Isaac Stone Fish? What the hell are up with these names? Are these their real names? Anyway, this guy's a Washington Post columnist. He's also a fool who falls for obvious traps because he doesn't actually do his job. This is remarkably similar in name to a leading Chinese Communist Party slogan, seeking truth from facts. Weird because it was actually said by the Democrat Party's candidate for president. And for a guy who seems very focused on China as a threat, he sure is silent on Biden's cozy relationship with them. You can just go down the list on Twitter and find other media outlets and so-called journalists making similar comments. So what we're seeing here is a bunch of media people that any of us could point out as DNC operatives being exposed as such. I think what we're going to see now is the media deflecting from this by flipping it around on Trump and claiming that he's attacking Biden and not paying attention to the virus outbreak. They'll say that his priority is attacking Biden, not dealing with the virus outbreak. This response is twofold for them. They deflect any criticism from the Democrat and they turn the criticism right back around on the Republicans where they want it. Of course, this is utterly ridiculous. It's not as if Trump built and is now running this website. This is just another case of the media running cover for a Democrat and putting forth this idea that somehow it's out of bounds to use Democrats' own words against them. Meanwhile, they can attack and edit video and lie as much as they want because they've told themselves that Trump is an existential threat. This is what you get from people who have rationalized taking any action to get what they want. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this channel, you can support it on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.